Hi, it's Andy here from Finlingo, and today I'm going to use our CFA Total Recall app to try to calculate the Sharpe ratio, a very popular question in the CFA curriculum. So let's have a quick go at it then. So let's open up the app and let's go to the readings, level one readings. Uh, I think it's reading 53. So let's go down to reading 53. There it is. Portfolio risk and return part two. Uh, well, let's look for the sharp ratio, which is down the bottom somewhere. There it is. We've got all the others, uh, all the other usual suspects, which we'll cover in future videos. So let's get back to the sharp ratio. Uh, we've got a nice scissors icon there, nice and sharp, which I chose for you especially. So let's go into it then. Um, we get a question. In the state of Tuvenia, Esme Martin at Rallet Capital manages a holding at Airdish Corporation. Um, there's some other information there. Now, what do we need for the sharp ratio? Let's imagine I can't remember. So I go for the help. There I get the sharp ratio equation. Portfolio return, take away risk free rate divided by portfolio risk. Thank you very much. A little note there about what the sharp ratio is useful for and a worked example as well. So let's go back to the question. You'll notice I've lost a little heart, which means I've lost a life, but let's not worry too much about that just now. Let's have a go at the question and see if we can remember the equation to burn it into our brain. So let's see if we can remember it. So predicted return, I'm going to assume that's expected return. So let's go to the calculator then. That's 14.65. 14.65, and let's take away the risk-free rate, which is in the text. It's exactly 3%, so take away 3. That gives us 11.65, and then we're going to divide by standard deviation, or the risk level. So let's divide that by, what does it say, 10.49. And that gives us 1.11058. What's the closest answer to that? I think it's B. 1.1106, which is round, uh, rounded to four characters. Perfect. There we go. So we've got that one right. You can see the uh, the gamification bar has moved to the right. If that blue bar goes all the way, of course, I'll get a star, which is fantastic. There's, uh, there's an explanation of how the system arrived at the answer using the same equation. Brilliant. So let's, just, let's try that one more time. Let's see if I can now remember the equation without needing help. And it's amazing how fast this goes in when the numbers change, but the equation stays the same. So in the state of De Minoland, Imogen Heisenberg from Jupiter Merchant Bank, and she's got some other information. So without using the help this time and without losing a life this time, let's see if I can do this by myself. So expected return, 21.75. So 21.75, and we're going to be taking away the risk free rate, which in the text is 3.79. And we're going to do be dividing by the standard deviation, which is 19.74. So divided by 19.74 gives us 0 0.90983. What's close to that? I think it's C this time, which is four decimal places, is that rounded up. So let's see if I'm right. Yay! Brilliant. And you can see my blue bars moved across. I could do this eight more times to get us blue star, but let's not kill ourselves. Um, there we go. We've got some help there. We've got the equation. We've got how it was worked out. I'll just show you the next question anyway. That's how we calculate the Sharpe Ratio then on the Finlingo CFA Total Recall app, which you can download on the App Store and soon on the, the Google Android Play Store uh, to learn everything you need to know in a really effective way for the CFA Level 1 curriculum. I'll see you next time in videos on the Jensen's Ratio and um, uh, Jensen's Alpha Ratio and so on. I'll see you next time.